Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. It is Saturday again, two weeks since the last update video have passed and we are back with another gothic update. In the last one I expressed the goal to finish the entire front facade, including the pillars, uh, until the next update video and considering I just finished texturing the last pillar this morning, I'd call this a mission success. Now that it's all in a state where I don't think I'm going to change it, a whole lot anymore. Uh, I thought I'd give you a closer look at some of the techniques used, some of the different details, uh, so that hopefully you can find some inspiration in there and uh, try some some stuff yourself. So let's start with the obvious, the rose window. This was inspired by a Flickr post from 2011, I think, and the guy used the. Uh, ball sockets, bionicle hand pieces, let me just call them that, I don't know the exact uh, Bricklink name but I thought the parts usage was quite clever because it gives you this little uh, that little arch. Um, there's also uh, a variety of mold variants of a 2x2 brick modified with this ball socket and one of them has that same angle and you can arrange them in a circle and you know, if you just look at them closely, it's a super flush fit. And it just so happens to be that you can fit 24 of them in a circle, which means I can evenly divide the whole thing into little sections, in this case, oh, six sections divided by those little uh, ornaments or implications thereof uh, throughout the window, uh, which is just, it, it looks so gorgeous. From the back side, you can see that the little 2x2 um, two two round tiles are attached using uh, bar holders with clips. It's not a perfect fit uh, with the bars here in this in this wheel piece. You can see that one here is uh, sticking out slightly, it doesn't fit in. Um, so I might replace those with a uh, flex tube uh, where I could uh, squish the ends a little bit to fit in there, but uh, we'll see. You know, that's just a, a little thing that I can change later on, if I needed to. The windows on the side here, if we just look up there a little, um, they use this uh, brick modified that is commonly used on, or was commonly used back in the day, on LEGO City cars, you know, just four white cars uh, around the wheels. Uh, and I just wanted a... an... Uh, an an arch that was, you know, not quite as wide as what the uh, 1x3 arch piece gives you. Uh, and I, I was just messing around in Bricklink Studio and found that these parts exist. And I ordered a couple of them. And they work quite nicely. Going further down, uh, let's take a look at this uh, midsection here. You can obviously tell that if you've seen the last couple of updates, uh, the the little toppers for the pillars are of course inspired by the one that I created for the uh, actual flying buttresses. You've seen this one in the last update, I think. So there's stylistic consistency there, which is nice. The little ones in the middle are just um, brick modifieds with clips on the side, and then the little um, statuettes, micro fig on top there. You can obviously observe the texture throughout, I don't think I have to talk about that one. It's just masonry and tiles and ingots and all kinds of small pieces. These little pillars are offset uh, half a stud using 2x2 uh, two two jumpers. And in order to get rid of the gap that that leaves, you can see there's a black one showing through there. That's a 2x2 two two hinge plate that you can fit. Uh, you know, there's one on this side and one on uh, this side to uh, make that a flush fit so that you don't have any gaps on the side there. Also some uh, uh, little Lego game figures, let's call them micro figures for the sake of this video, uh, all throughout, oh, well not all throughout but uh, above and below the little step in the pillars. They just break up the, the grey surface, you know, there's a little bit more darkness in those little cavities and uh, that adds some depth to the otherwise pretty, pretty bland wall. Further down we've got um, We've got the door with the arch over it. The arch is of course using uh, brick modified with clips, as you can see, uh, just capped with tiles, 
so that there are no stats showing and those are clipped onto a flex tube in the back. The uh, little roof is uh, using uh, 2x4 tiles that sit obviously one stud into the wall and are attached uh, using clips to the same flex tube that the arch bricks are attached to. I covered the little hole at the at the top there with a flower stud in light blue grey. On top of a, or rather on the end, on one end of a 2L bar, you can see in there there's the other end. So that keeps it in place, doesn't fall out, stays in there nicely and uh, looks pretty. The sides are just, uh, or rather these little toppers, I used some um, 2x2 two two plate modified with this half circle and the Technic hole in there and then I used a stud in the Technic hole which is then used to attach the 1x1 uh, one one brick with the ornament on the side uh, upside down and then we have a 1x1 one one round plate stud if you want to call it that with a bar hole which is used to attach the little spike piece so yeah just a little detail there these pillars use brick modified as you can see there um, and you might know there there's not a brick with studs on three sides so I had to use the one with four and because it's sitting flat up against the wall I arranged it in such a way that the stud facing the wall fits into the technical of a two by two um, one by two brick modified and because I've got these little snot sections on top and on the bottom um, I couldn't use the brick modified um, you know studs up so I had to reverse them halfway up uh, in order to not have the stud which would get in the way of these snot sections. The door I think you've seen in the first update video nothing too special about that yeah I think we've covered pretty much everything notable there is to see about this model I'm pretty happy with you know where it's at so far so I'm going to cut it right here. Just one last little thing. If you're coming to Brick in Bavaria and you are displaying a gothic build uh, with me, then uh, you will be receiving a little printed W icon workshop tile uh, as part of a little goodie bag with a couple more items that I have not yet revealed and uh, will probably keep secret for members of the Brick in Bavaria display once the, the whole thing goes down. Um, yeah, feel free to let me know what you think about the progress in the comments below. If you found any new useful techniques, I hope you put them to use. Feel inspired and uh, create something. Uh, feel free to put your creations and your work in progress stuff in the Discord server. You know, that's the place for it. So if you want to check that out, feel free to join through the link below. And uh, I reckon I'll see you again in two weeks with another update in which I'm hoping to tackle the the little section of the facade right there with the flying buttresses. So, until next time, hope you enjoyed, leave a comment if you want, and uh, keep bricking.